Well, it's the day after Christmas here in central Alabama, and it's 75-ish, maybe even warmer degrees. So, welcome to Christmas in the south. So, I'm going to take a day or two and do a little camping. That's uh, something I've been trying to get away to do in a, for a while now and just can't seem to squeeze it into my schedule. So the kids are doing their thing this week. Uh, nieces and nephews are in town, so my kids are spending time with them. And the wife is going to enjoy some quiet time at the house. And I'm going to go do a little camping. I'm going to go up just north of uh, our house, just to really just a few miles, to a little uh, historic site where the, it's got a couple of forts. Uh, it's called Fort Toulouse. Uh, if you're from this area, you're probably familiar with it, but it's a historic location with a couple of forts from the French and Indian War and they've got a little campground so I'm gonna hang out there for a day or two here at Fort Toulouse got checked in I'm just checking in for one night for now just to see don't want to stay a couple of nights but we'll start with one but place is pretty empty that camper down that way is nobody's there right now all those sites around that side are empty <clears throat> got one camp host there and Another camp's a kind of safety security folks, but really no uh, no people here but me and maybe two or three other campers, one down that way. So I have picked out site number 32 here, which is right on the Coosa River. This is the Coosa flowing from that direction and it goes down that way and intersects with the Tallapoosa River out on a point which I'll probably do a little exploring you uh, later on tomorrow but this is my setup for the night I got the Blackbird XLC tonight and I'm gonna sleep in I've got a, another hammock I might try out uh, tomorrow night but this is the view from my hammock overlooking the river all right, so the tarp's up, got the quilts on, and should be set for the evening. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you, this is my Greylock 3 quilt from Jacks or Better uh, I've got on here. It, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's a, um, I guess you could call it a three-quarter uh, under quilt. I don't know the exact length, but I'll, uh, I'll try to list that. Uh, down below, but uh, it's a down quilt, nice and puffy. I uh, probably had this for two or three years now. I know I've had it down into the 30s easily. It's supposed to, I think, I think it's rated as a 20 degree quilt. Uh, I put it on here. It goes on pretty easy on the uh, the Blackbird. I use these little beaners, but you can actually just loop it over the knot here at the end. Uh, I've added these little Dutch quilt clips. Uh, there's several different ways you can use them, but I, I put them on one side of the bungee, if I can do that. I don't know if you can see it, but I thread it on one side of the bungee, and then when I wrap it around, I hook it on the other and kind of put it over the top of the, the hammock here, and it kind of kind of pulls the bungees together. It doesn't so much do much on the head end, as it does down here on the foot end, and it kind of keeps this bungee up over your foot box there on the other side of the Blackbird. Kind of keeps the bungees up snug. Another thing I did, that had these loops on the corners, but I added these little prussics kind of as a secondary uh, suspension that, you know, it's got the, the bungee that runs through this uh, through this uh, channel here that, that the, and the, the quilt will slide back and forth on that channel but once you get it where you want it sometimes it'll slide to the center and kind of move on you during the night so I added these little prussics on each corner and then I put them onto the onto the, uh, the main suspension there and if you pull them up tight it kind of pulls the quilt in both directions on each end like that and kind of keeps it up snug underneath you so you don't uh, get that quilt sag during the night. Right, time for a little lunch. We're gonna have 
couple of these tortilla wraps with this uh, spicy Thai chili um, tuna fish. I've had this before and uh, it's pretty good. Good for a little wrap. You can eat it by itself right out of the pouch, which I've done. But uh, I'm going to put it on some of these wraps. And also going to have an avocado as well. So a little bit of information about the uh, location here. This is uh, Fort Toulouse, Fort Jackson. It's a historical commission area from the French Indian War. Uh, I am right in here in this campground area. And the river, Coosa River runs down this side and connects with the Tallapoosa River, which comes from this way. And they both intersect and flow out, make the Alabama River. So this is where the Alabama River starts. So I'm going to be camping in there with a view of the river. There's several things here, a couple of forts. Uh, there's uh, a fort right here in this area, which was the French fort, I believe, and the Indian fort was down this way. I think that's right. We'll do some walking around tomorrow and uh, try to clarify that. Got to fix up a quick cup of this uh, Alpine spiced apple cider. This is uh, one of my favorite drinks that I like to fix if you like a hot drink uh, when you're backpacking or camping. Uh, this uh, Alpine spiced apple cider. So I'm going to heat up some of that here in this little zebra, 10 centimeter zebra pot. Um, I'll heat it up in my little fancy feast alcohol stove, which is what I normally carry when I'm backpacking. It's nice lightweight, made by Zelf stoves. Uh, I've had that for a while. It's one of my favorite little backpacking stoves, and works out good just for general heating up uh, water, boiling water. For most of my meals, that's what I usually end up doing. So I'm going to fix up some of that real quick and uh, have a little warm afternoon drink. So dinner tonight will be these Idahoan fully loaded peppered bacon and cheddar potatoes with a ribeye steak. Alright, we got the steak on. Starting to cook. Got the water getting ready for the potatoes. Mmm, gonna be a good night. <laughs> 